Okay, so this is a continuation of the addition of fractions. So this time, it's about mixed fractions. When you say mixed fractions, you have a whole number like in 3 and 5 over 8. This is your whole number and this is your fraction. And then for 2 and 1 over 4, 2 is your whole number and 1 over 4 is your fraction. So it is called a mixed fraction or a mixed number. So, how do we add this together? So, at first, uh, look at your denominators in the fraction 5 over 8 and 1 over 4. They are not the same. They are called dissimilar fractions. So, we need to find the LCM of 8 and 4, or the least common multiple, or the least number which we can divide both by 8 and 4, which is 8. So, 5 over 8 is already okay, but for 1 over 4, we need to times it by 2 so that 4 becomes 8 as well as for your numerator. So that 1 times 2 is 2 and 4 times 2 is 8. So we have converted 1 over 4 to become 2 over 8. So first we add our whole numbers 3 and 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. And then the 5 over 8 plus 2 over 8. So again, we copy 5. And then we plus together our numerators. 5 plus 2 is 7. And then we just copy the denominator 8. So that our final answer is 5 and 7 over 8. So let us have another example. Okay, so this time it's subtraction of mixed fractions or mixed number. So we have here 3 and 3 over 4 minus 1 and 2 over 3. So look at your denominators, 4 and 3, they are not the same. So we find the LCM of 4 and 3 which is 12 because 4 times 3 is 12. So for 4, we times by 3 as well as our numerator. And then for 3, we times by 4 so that it becomes 12. Okay? So, uh, look at your whole numbers first. 3 minus 1 is 2. Right here, 2. And then the 3 over 4, we change to 3 times 3 is 9 over 4 times 3 is 12. And then 2 times 4 here is 8. And 3 times 4 is 12. So look at your uh, denominators now. They are the same. So we can proceed to the subtraction of your numerators. Okay, so again we copy 2. Then 9 minus 8 is 1. And just copy the denominator 12. So that our final answer will be 2 and 1 over well, so I hope that uh, you understood my explanation and I hope that you practice learning at home the addition and subtraction of uh, similar fractions and dissimilar fractions as well as with mixed fractions. Bye and be safe. God bless.